Oh my gosh, how freaking cool is this? I, I'm so excited. I feel like I'm in my living room. Welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep, and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And I've come across a couple of articles here that I wanted to share with you in regards to driving for Uber and Lyft with a Tesla. Um, now, I don't have a Tesla. <laughs> I have a Prius. Uh, but a Tesla would be like at least twice more than what our... Um, Prius cost, but I would love to have a Tesla. Uh, I don't, you know, as far as the savings on it, I, I really don't know. But I found it interesting that there are some Uber uh, drivers out there that have a Tesla, that use a Tesla. Uh, and I don't know how comfortable I would be with that, at least being a driver, because some of the people you pick up you know, might damage your car or puke in it or, you know, whatever. But I guess that depends upon when you decide to go drive. If you just deci decide to drive during the day, you may not get those type of people. But anyway, um, let's start with this. We'll start with a pro and we'll start with a, a con. All right. So here's the, here's the pro. Uh, this owner drives for Uber and Lyft in Kentucky. Uh, Andy Sly is a videographer, filmmaker, uh, or YouTuber, and <laughs> Uber driver who lives in Louisville, Kentucky. He doesn't drive a Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, or Ford Escape, though. His vehicle is a fully electric Tesla Model 3. As far as he knows, I wonder if his, um, his videography um, is, is what helped him fund. Maybe not. Man, it'd be nice to get a Tesla. As far as he knows, his Tesla is the only one of its kind being used as an Uber vehicle in his area. You can see how some of his passengers react to riding it in a video he made. A video that actually got retweeted by Tesla and Elon Musk last week. Well, a week prior to October 15th of 2018. Below are Andy's answers to questions we asked about the Model 3 and his experience within Kentucky. Now, as far as the video... Uh, there was a little clip uh, that I played at the beginning, uh, but as far as if you want to watch the whole thing, uh, there's a link in the description field that you can check out. It's it's neat. It's a it's it's a neat video. But anyway, how long have you had your Model Three, and what are your impressions so far? Says I picked that up in Cincinnati at the end of April, so almost six months. Absolutely love it. It's been such a joy to drive, and the fact that I haven't been to a gas station in months feels really good. Uh, someone else you may want to check out that has a Tesla is Jerry Rig Everything. Uh, go to his channel. Great channel. I love I love his stuff. He's got a Tesla, and uh, I know he he likes uh, what he's got. So which version do you have, and what's the range? I have the 310 mile long range uh, RWD rear wheel drive. <laughs> First production version with the premium interior. I also purchased enhanced autopilot. Probably paid over a hundred thousand for it. How long have you been driving for Uber? I signed up for Lyft and Uber shortly after getting my Model Three, but I didn't start actively looking for rides until recently. I've given a total of twelve rides so far between both apps. Is that your main job or side gig? Ride sharing is only a minor side gig for me at the moment. I mainly do it because I enjoy my Model Three so much that I look for any excuse to drive it. Videography and YouTube are my primary focuses. The Model 3 must be much comfortable to drive for long periods because there is no gas motor vibration or noise. Is that true? For sure. Not only is the Model 3 fun to drive, but it's also extremely relaxing and comfortable. It's almost a guarantee for my wife to fall asleep within f about five minutes when she rides in the passenger seat. The silence when driving at slow speeds and when at a stop is so much better than hearing a gasoline engine. In my Uber video, one of my riders specifically points out how smooth the ride is in the back seat. Would you ever go back to driving a gas-powered car? Never. I wouldn't go back to a gas-powered car even if it were 
full of free snickerdoodle cookies. Choosing an EV is one of the best decisions I've made in adulthood. Sure, if you have the money. <laughs> Uber obviously works with drivers who have electric vehicles, uh, unless you're trying to drive a smart car that only has a two-seater, obviously. Was the process for signing up to drive with a Tesla any different from using a gas-powered car? I believe the process is the same, although I never signed up with a gas-powered car. The biggest difference is probably the inspection. The mechanic was so flabbergasted at the futuristic Model 3 and spent about 10 minutes asking me all about it. In the video, it seems as though every passenger is happy to be in your car. Is that true in most cases? Yes. Every rider I've had in my Model 3 has been amazed or excited in some way and has left with a smile on their face. Had you driven an electric vehicle before you got the Model 3? Nope. Pretty much went in blind when I put my $1,000 reservation down in March 2016. Two months before getting my own Model 3, I drove to Chicago just to rent a Model 3 um, so I could test drive it. Why did you decide to go with the Model 3 instead of a Chevy Bolt or Model S? I've always dreamt of having a Tesla ever since I first heard about them in 2008. Uh, when people are looking for a ride in your area, can they search for an electric vehicle with an app? Or no? I don't believe so, which is unfortunate. I would love for Uber or Lyft riders to be able to specifically request a Tesla or even an EV. Have you had repeat customers who want to ride in the Model 3 again? No. I haven't been given rides long enough to get repeat customers. If this is too sensitive, you don't... <laughs> but does driving for Uber pay for the car loan and enough for you to survive? I think if I drove enough during peak times on Lyft Lux and Uber Select, both of which the Model 3 qualifies for, the premium rates from those would probably pay pretty well. To give an example, I was gone from my house for a total of two and a half hours on a Saturday afternoon giving rides, and in that time I earned $76, a whopping $76. That comes to about $30 an hour, which is pretty good. Yeah, that is good. What insurance coverage do you have for it? Well, progressive. Are there Tesla chargers near you, or do you mostly charge at home? There's one supercharger in Louisville, but I always charge at home when I'm driving locally. It's against Tesla's supercharger fair use policy to charge at supercharges during commercial use, ride sharing, etc. How long does it take to charge complete? Uh, so, theoretically speaking, it takes about 10 hours to charge from 0 to 100%. But I don't think I've ever let my Model 3 get below 15%, and I only charge the 100 when I need it for road trips. How many miles do you drive in a day? Uh, 80 miles. Are you the only Model 3 Uber? Okay, so that's not uh, overly important there. But this link will be in uh, the description if you want to check it out. Now, let's take a look at the con. Okay. So this guy turned his Tesla into an Uber, but it didn't go well. And, well, you can see he doesn't look very happy. <laughs> According to him, he's only driving for 70 cents a mile profit. The Uber driver with a Tesla exists. Well, yes, of course. We saw in the last... When was this made? Oh, this is back in 2015. Interesting. Um, so this was an interview, late show with Stephen Colbert. So Zhang... He is a CEO, but he wanted to learn about Uber, the startup with a valuation topping $50 billion. So he worked as a driver. It's been difficult. But he's seen immediate reactions for passengers when he pulls up in his Tesla. One passenger even made her friends come out to see the car when they pulled up to her destination. What amazes me is most of the people said, Wow, it's a Tesla. First time I've ever rode in one. So far, uh, Zhang said he's completed 102 trips and made over $1,000 before Uber took its cut. After the Uber fee, which can range from 20 to 28%, depending on the city and when the driver signed up, Zhang calculates that he has collected $0.76 cents per mile. This is cut down to $0.70 cents when factoring in his Tesla's cost of $0.06 cents per mile to drive. This may not be enough of a profit to keep driving for the service, he says. I cannot spend money and my time when I'm not making a return. Still, a Tesla can garner Uber's driver, Uber drivers' big enthusiasm, leading to high ratings from tri uh, riders. I can see that. I can see them giving, because uh, it's a whole emotional thing. Oh, wow, I got a 
Tessa, wow, five star. Um, would it uh, give you better tips? I wonder. I don't know. Beyond drivers, uh, Steve Jurvetson, he's a venture capitalist. He wants to buy 500,000 of Tesla's self driving cars. Should they be ready by 2020? So, so even if Zhang stops picking up passengers in his Model S for good, you may have better odds of hailing a Tesla in the coming year. So, that was just, just kind of a pro and 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 con. On that, saying he doesn't think he makes enough on it, but I don't know. I mean, if if you get constant, you know, five star ratings because you drive up in a Tesla and you get good tips for it I don't know maybe it would be uh, profitable but then again um, it may not make a difference you know as far as you know some people tip that tip others just don't so I don't know it's it's curious so for those of you who are out there do you have a Tesla do you want a Tesla do you drive for uber do you drive for Lyft do you drive for both what are your experiences? Maybe you uh, needed a, a a ride somewhere and you got picked up on a Tesla. Let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, and other than that, subscribe to the channel because uh, hey, it helps me out. Lets me know that uh, you like what I'm I'm putting out there, and I, I try to find you know interesting things to talk about um, and. Sometimes I just come across things um, just on a daily thing. Wow, look at this car. <laughs> look at this thing. Look at this Bugatti's virtual reality inspired concept car. My goodness. Now drive. <laughs> Use this for Uber. My goodness. You'd probably <laughs> drive up one of those things. People would be like, damn. I get the ride. I get the ride in style. <laughs> anyway, man, uh, subscribe to the channel because uh, I I put out videos all the time, and um, I hope to see you on another rambling video.